I'm speaking shortly about how you can optimize your blood markers. So we have created this uh, service company called HealthDX. So it's based on comprehensive lab testing, but also uh, how you can interpret your own results. And it's for healthy people. We have a problem that uh, many of you know who go into doctors, you get this uh, mumbo jumbo or you just don't get the in information or the interpretation. Or you get told, OK, your values are within the reference range, right? And then what? OK, it might be in the lower end, might be in the higher end. They're quite expensive. And the problem is that you don't get what you want if you're a healthy person. So we have created the solution for healthy people. Of course, healthy means that you might have some problems, but you're not like chronically sick. Uh, there is a web course, a platform that is uh, developing all the time. So this this is uh, we are creating preventive healthcare system from sick care to actual healthcare. So the current healthcare system is concentrated on treating diseases, and that's good. However, the transition towards preventive healthcare is happening right now. Biohacking is also that. So we are bringing people together to create this kind of holistic system of preventive health. And the mission of HealthDX is to combine the state-of-the-art diagnostics with analysis of lifestyle indicators to prevent disease and achieve optimal health. So here's how it works. You get the registration, and you choose a blood test package, which I'm going to go through in a while. You get the results, and then you get online coaching. You have an online web course. And you can repeat the circle how often you want to have a follow-up and see how your results are actually changing. You're going to get a personal well-being profile you can schedule, integrate, browse, and so on. But this is the most important thing. We have now like four packages. There's health package. So I have just the blood count, iris status, and just basic markers. And the price points are different. So even if you didn't have a lot of money, you still have valuable information. Well-being package, a little bit more comprehensive. And the performance package, that's the most comprehensive part. It's consisting of 45 different markers that are carefully selected. Has anyone, uh, especially in Finland, had done this performance package? If you want, yeah. And then we have the most comprehensive nutrition package that's evaluating your whole body as a system. It's nice to know like <clears throat> vitamin D levels or vitamin B12 levels, but if you want to have like a full comprehensive view on your total system, you need a complete package to understand what's really happening in your system at this time. And the key here is reporting. So you're not just getting a lab value. OK, it's normal. It might be normal because the reference range is so wide. What is optimal? Of course, for every value, there isn't an optimal point. But when I dig the research, like hundreds and hundreds of papers, I found optimal values for many markers that are like, uh, connected to longer health span, lifespan, lower mortality, and so on. And you get this full view of your whole total system and total body. You get this verbal or written analysis, what this means for you personally.
You also get uh, recommendations. This is an actual result from the performance report. So there are sections like vitamins, blood sugar. This is actually in Finnish. Uh, thyroid levels, what happens to heart, low-level inflammation, lipid levels, hormones, and so on. But now comes the best part. There is an online training course that I created for people because I realized uh, working as a doctor, taking patients, how much time it actually took to explain all the lab values. Think about if you take like, let's say, 45 lab markers and you actually want to know what's going on and what's going on with your system. What, what does it mean? Okay, my, let's say I'm a male, my estradiol is a bit too high. What does it mean? Or my thyroid levels are normal, but they're on the low side. What does it mean? What can I actually do? The information is not enough that I have the results. You, you need understanding. So we have created this six-week online course. At this moment, it's on a pilot state, but it's open now. There's a lot of material. I put together about like 250 pages of material that's understandable based on over 300 references. We have uh, different partners, of course, the Biohacker Center, uh, Lab to Wellness is going on, Polku is uh, on the software development. We have service partners, pharmacy. Actually, the pharmacy quite close, this, this place, is taking these packages. We also have a Health DX stand on the presentation side. And this is what you, as a biohacker, would probably want. Even if you did your lab results anywhere, even if you didn't take any of the packages, this online course is something you might want to consider if you want to really understand your lab results. Because the understanding, that's the key. When you understand, you can actually make changes. So from this day on, it is available also for not only people living in Finland, this is in English. Optimize your lab results online course. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. So I actually know this space uh, quite a bit, and this falls into the category of personal health records, PHR. Um, Apple is actually the one company that is really pushing on it with its health kit and the direct integration with healthcare systems in the United States. Those are basically large conglomerates that have large economies of scale. The biggest challenge that I found, and I would like you to comment on is, building something like that is pretty straightforward with the entire supply chain, which only becomes a difficulty at scale. Yeah. The biggest challenge is behavioral change. So a patient sure. today um, pretty much thinks, if I want to learn something about my health, my doctor is responsible. That's how we grew up, and that's the sort of common mindset that exists today. So the biggest challenges in the success and eventually the scalability is basically getting out of this niche of quantified self people who have mm. an interest in their personal health and actually move it beyond that to the regular, you know, the commoner. How do you think about that, and how do you think that you or your company can help to overcome this challenge? We can uh, go by an example. We can show by an example, and as many people come into this service and they have good uh, reports, good uh, experiences, and they tell their friends. So it's, it's by word, word, mouth to mouth. So people are like uh, presenting the ideas and uh, developing the, the communication between each other. And then it's going to be also in the consciousness of doctors, and eventually the whole system is going to change from the inside out. Okay. Are you thinking about, and that's the best way from a behavioral economic standpoint, what works incredibly well is actually incentives or disincentives, depending on how you want to structure it. Yeah. Naturally speaking, when you consider the foundation of behavioral economics, incentives works better than, work better than disincentives. So for example, an insurance company could be a great play. Have you thought about this and how could this be implemented, for example, into a Finnish insurance carrier? I'm not sure if there are many. But for example, in order to implement this at larger scale, there could be an economic incentive created mm. through an insurance carrier. Have you thought about this, or is this yeah, an totally idea? Yeah, totally thought about it. It's in progress. This is uh, about one year old, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. So uh, this is developing. I'm uh, producting the medical content, so I'm not uh, really making any of these 
bigger plan. So I, I'm purely the science man and mm -hmm. the integration of the knowledge to an understandable way to people. So okay. that's my role. Cool. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks. Thank Perfect. you.